As I was working through some upcoming projects and helping with some questions on our different platforms, it occurred to me that there was always a tool that seemed to be missing from people's shops. It's always the first tool I'd recommend, right behind getting a laser, even if it's not the most used. It not only removes guesswork, but in most cases it's like making a project go into easy mode. In some cases, it's even impossible to do things properly without one. If you haven't guessed what tool I'm referring to yet, that every laser engraver should have, it's a caliper. My last digital caliper failed on me after just two weeks in the shop, so having QFun send these over to help out couldn't have come at a better time. This one has been my go-to caliper for just over three months now, and hasn't given me any issues, and I don't see any reason why I think it would. It feels good in the hand being entirely metal, which my last one had some plastic bits which ultimately broke, and it's super easy to change the button cell style batteries, which I haven't had to yet, it's more power efficient than my last set, which had gone through two batteries in two weeks, so this one's doing much better. It's been nice to be able to swap between metric and standard as well, which is something I didn't really plan for, but makes some projects easier and is a nice addition. We've used calipers on many projects and episodes in the past, and we have some more coming up, like the episode I have planned for boxes and also jigs. Just to name a short list of why having a caliper is important, or at a minimum makes things easier, Things like field and lens distortion correction calculations on Galva lasers, like running core file. For things like getting an accurate depth of materials you plan to use for projects such as boxes or parts that fit together. Setting depth of your bed on a gantry based laser so that the height of the laser head is the same across all corners of the bed. Finding your focal depth. Creating jigs. Sizing your artwork to fit on an item. Finding inner and outer diameters of things like rings, tumblers, or for rotary work in art prep. Again, these are just a few examples of things that are made easier by being able to read fractions of a millimeter quickly and accurately. It can really help make things easier, save on materials, and time. High five to the people who already have a caliper in their toolbox. If you need one, I left a link below to the one that I've been using. See you in the next one, guys.